and welcome to this inaugural episode of The Rotted Report. Going to be coming at you every first Friday of the month with horror movie news, VOD release schedules, and more. So let's go ahead and just get right into it. To begin with the horror movie news, Dave Grohl is reporting that the new Foo Fighters horror comedy movie, Studio 666, is going to be absolutely insane. Directed by BJ McConnell, Grohl is saying of this new movie, after decades of ridiculous music videos and numerous music documentaries under our collective belts, it was finally time to take it to the next level, a full-length feature horror comedy film. He goes on to say, we wanted to recapture the classic magic that all of our favorite rock and roll movies had, but with a twist. Hilarious gore that fucking rocks. The USA slash sci-fi series Chucky has been renewed for season two after the impressive numbers of season one boasting 9.5 million individual viewers. Creator Don Mancini is reportedly still on board saying, we're thrilled to start pulling the strings on a second season of Puppet Mayhem with Chucky. In legal news, the lengthy court battles over the rights to Friday the 13th may be coming to a close, but the future of Camp Crystal Lake and Jason remains still up in the air. According to entertainment lawyer Larry Zerner, Sean Cunningham failed to file a cert petition before the required deadline. So at this time, Victor Miller does retain his rights, but only to the first film and only to U.S. production and distribution. So although this current chapter of the legal battle may be coming to a conclusion, until Victor and Sean can come to some level of cooperation, our chances of seeing our hockey mask wearing killer on screen maybe nil. In Toxic Waste news, Troma Films is moving ahead with a new Toxic Avenger movie directed by Macon Blair and starring Peter Dinklage as the titular role. Dinklage says of this movie, it's not a remake, I just like guerrilla filmmaking. When you make movies too clean, it can distance the audience, they want to feel the dirt under their fingernails. I think Troma Films definitely dipped the audience in Toxic Waste. No argument here. In 2016, John Carpenter went on tour with a series of live concerts showcasing scores from his film catalog. On December 30th, he announced that a behind-the-scenes exclusive feature is currently being produced, which showcases his life on the road as well as never-before-seen interviews with the band and crew. Speaking of horror concerts and the documentaries behind them, an Indiegogo campaign is currently being held for the production of a behind-the-scenes documentary of the December 11th concert showcasing the works of Simon Boswell. This concert was performed live by Simon with his band Kaduta Masi. The renowned British composer is responsible for the iconic scores for films such as Demons 2, Lord of Illusions, and Santa Sangre. If you'd like more details on this Indiegogo campaign, a link is provided in the description below. In the celebrity rumor mill, Freddie Prince Jr. of all people has people all abuzz. He recently stirred up some fervor on Twitter when he announced recently, I've wanted to make another horror movie ever since I Know What You Did Last Summer wrapped. Never found the right one, but I think this year it's gonna happen. No further information is known about this mysterious project at this time, but we will keep you posted. Lastly in the news, Morbius is experiencing yet another delay. Sony has recently announced that they are once again pushing this movie back to a release date of April 1st rather than the planned January 28th. This movie is no stranger to pandemic-related pushbacks of the schedule originally slated for July 10th of 2020. I'm afraid those wanting their Jared Leto fix are going to have to rewatch House of Gucci and wait until April Fool's Day for the rest. And now let's go ahead and take a look at what's coming out in January on both VOD and streaming release services. Here we go.
Exciting stuff coming out there. So that leads us to our quiz of the month. What would you like to see coming out of Shudder for February? Is it A, the 2008 film from Thailand coming soon, B, the 2008 film from Thailand coming soon, C, the 2008 film from Thailand coming soon, or D, Ernest Saves Christmas? Go ahead and leave your answers in the comments below. I'll tally them up and show the results on the next Rotted Report. And now it's time to shelve the objectivity and get into a cozy little corner with a rotted rant. Today's opinion is surrounding the Ghostbusters Ultimate Collection box set coming out from Columbia Pictures. This has a lot of people abuzz because it doesn't include the 2016 Paul Feig film Ghostbusters. And just like that movie itself, this exclusion is causing a lot of divisiveness amongst the horror community. My opinion on this is it is a tragedy that this film is not included in this Ultimate Collection. If you didn't like the 2016 movie, there's nothing wrong with that. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion. The reasoning for your like or dislike, we will go ahead and shelve for right now, but the fact of the matter is, this is an ultimate collection set. The fact that it doesn't take place within the same universe is neither here nor there. The fact of the matter is, if Halloween released an ultimate collection set and excluded Halloween 3 Season of the Witch, I would be sharpening my pitchforks just as much. What a studio chooses to include in their box sets is ultimately a lot of times left up to who owns the distribution rights. And the fact of the matter is Columbia owns the rights to all of them. Not only that, but it would very strongly protect those rights. If the 2016 movie were not made by Columbia and just made by a small little studio and put it out without permission, they would be taken to court by Columbia and railed on hard. So if Columbia is willing to protect their intellectual property, they should be willing to include it. My issue is not with the quality of the 2016 movie, it's with the word ultimate. This could easily have been called the Ghostbusters Reitman edition, but it's not. It's the ultimate collection. So that's my rotted rant, and that's this episode of The Rotted Report. I really appreciate you joining me here. Look for me again on the first Friday of February as we go over the horror news then. Take care, everybody, and remember, next time you want your news, first make sure that it's good and rotted.